So today what we're going to be doing is measuring uh, underwater weight. The reason why we do this is so that we can calculate somebody's body composition. It's a fairly simple uh, calculation so we can work out body density from their body weight divided by their body volume. So what we're going to be doing is weighing uh, our subject Dennis underwater and when we measure him underwater, measure his weight underwater, what we can do is calculate his apparent loss of weight underwater. If we can calculate his loss of weight underwater, then the loss of weight is a proportionate to the volume of the weight of the water that he's displaced. Uh, so it's a fairly simple method of calculating body volume without all the mess of water slopping over the side of a big tank. Uh, so today we're going to get Dennis into the tank of water that's just behind me and we're going to weigh him four, five or six times so that we can get his, uh, an accurate measurement of his body weight and then we'll do the subsequent calculations to work out his body density. It's quite a normal process that we do and this type of measurement is used fairly often in elite level sport for working out body composition and principally for working out body fat mass and the fat free mass or the muscle mass as well.